we need to solve for the missing angle C and the missing sides C and B in this triangle. Now, as I'm solving for one of the missing sides, I need to use the law of sines. It says that the sine of angle A is to the side opposite, which is lowercase a, is equal to the sine of angle B over side B, and that's the same proportion as the sine of angle C over side C. Now, in this example, I'm looking for sides B and C, as I'm using the law of sines, I want to pick up one of these ratios that has the most information in it, and I'm going to pick up another ratio that has most of the information in it. Well, I notice that I've got angle A and side A, so I'm definitely going to use sine A and A. I also have angle B. I can use the law of sines to find side B. So let's go ahead and choose these two for our proportion putting those together. I get the sine of angle A, which is 50 degrees, over side A, which is 10, and that's equal to my proportion for B. So the sine of angle B, which is 30 degrees, over side B. So over side B, which is what I'm solving for. I'm just going to do a quick cross multiplication here, and I end up with B times the sine of 50. So B times the sine of 50 degrees is equal to 10 times the sine of 30 degrees. And in order to solve for B, I just need to divide both sides by that sine of 50 over sine of 50. Let's put all of this into the calculator. Now I can put this right into my calculator. So 10 times the sine of 30 divided by the sine of 50. And I end up with 6.527. Let's call that 6.5. So length B is about 6.5 units, whatever that happens to be. So B is about 6.5. Now I also need to find both side C and angle C. I can't find it using the law of sines right now, but I can go ahead and solve for angle C using what I've got. I know that the sum of my angles is equal to 180. So to solve for angle C, I'm gonna take 180 and subtract the two angles that I've got, which is a 50 and a 30, and that leaves me with 100 degrees. So angle C is 100 degrees. So I've got 100 degrees right here, and I've got enough information now to do the law of sines again. This time I need to solve for side C, so I know that I need to use this last ratio, and I'm gonna go ahead and go right back to the sine of A and A. Putting those two together, I've got the sine of A, which is 50, divided by side A, which is still 10, is equal to the sine of C. I found that to be 100 now, so the sine of 100 over C. This is gonna look really familiar because I'm gonna do the same process. I'm gonna cross multiply. C times sine 50 is equal to 10 times the sine of 100. And I can divide both sides by that sine of 50. And that's gonna leave me with a calculation for C, sine of 50. Those cancel and C is equal to this right over into our calculator. So I've got 10 times the sine of 100 divided by the sine of 50. Enter, and I get 12.855. Let's call that about 12.9. So C is about 12.9. And I've solved for everything that I need on this triangle. But what if you had this triangle. This is another type that we're gonna use the law of sines on, but in this case, I've got a side next to a side next to an angle. This is our side side angle case, and it gives us a couple of possible cases. To learn how to do this one, take a look at my video here. You guys are doing so great. Thanks for watching.